Hi, this is a Rotten Raven. Today we're playing Diablo 3 PTR for Season 28. The way you do that is load up your game through Battle.net. Uh, go and play on the PC. I believe you have to have Reaper of Souls expansion. The way you do it is go down here to Game Version, pick Public Test Realm. You have to download it. I already have it, so I'll just check for updates. Alright, hit play. Once it downloads, and sometimes you have a queue because uh, limited servers, so hopefully we luck out and not have it. I just tried a little bit ago, it was fine, so hopefully it's so good. Let's see, okay, sweet. I'm going to be right there. So when you come in, first thing you can do is hit PTR copy if you want to use your characters. Because right now, if you had a season, like right now, season 27, it would make them non-season characters, so every, every character you have right now would be non-season. So if you want to play whatever those had from with the PTR hat patch, for example, they just changed Natalia's set for Demon Hunter to be a Spike Trap instead of Raiden Vengeance. So you can still try it, because both when it goes live, that's not just season, it's for both season and non-season. But like what they're adding in, what we're going to go over, is the Ultra of Rights, which gives you powers for the season. And it only works in season, so we're gonna do that. But first off, let's see what's new. So on the season 28, we're gonna have on a good day, level three legendary gems, so level 65 for both. You can do it in hard, softcore or hardcore. Why does that say different? Three gems. These aren't in order now, huh? I did something here because and then you have uh, complete a t10 rip within two minutes same thing for hardcore three gems six five they have they, no, they have these two switched for some reason and these should be right okay now boss mode defeat all the bosses on t10 within 20 minutes of the game that's all bosses except for Ridian. that's how you say his name it's the new boss in what act two um, same thing for hardcore. Curses is the defeat uh, on T10. Defeat 350 or more monsters. Of course, the easiest way to do that is Curse Pete in Act 5. I believe it's Rune. Is it Runes or Corvus? And then same thing for hardcore. And then 655 solo with 6 class sets. Uh, obviously, the most a character class will have is five sets. That's for the old ones, one of the new one. Uh, so, minimum is two characters. And you can't do this. As you see, they also have the achievement for hardcore. So, you can't do like do three or four on softcore and then do the remaining on hardcore. They're tracked separately as two separate achievements. You only need three max, so you can do you know, any three you want, or a combination of hardcore or softcore. So yet, one, this one for example, you have to do all six. So a minimum of two classes, because five, like I said, is the max. The no set one won't count. You know, so you have to have a set pieces. Luckily it's not set dungeons, because then, because the fifth set, the new set doesn't have set dungeons. And you do the same thing, you want that, so this be one. Achievement, this account's a sick achievement. Same with Kurt's chest. These are pretty easy to do. So normally most people like do this, or you're gonna do this one pretty easily too. That so you can get three across the board account, but these ones, like I said, you, you have to, they're tracked separately. But they'll count as one of the three you have to do for your Guardian achievement. You have to do three conquests. All right, so Demon Hunter's getting Gears of Dreadlands. You know, basically the god set, you strafe and shoot. And at Amok, we shoot your last used primary skill. Uh, Barb gets Horde of the 90 Savages. Basically, it's a uh, frenzy. Wizard gets Typhoon's Veil, vale, which is Hydra's. Witch Doctor gets. I'm gonna butcher it. Mundanogus Regala, Spirit Barrage, Big Bag Voodoo, Monk gets Patterns of Justice, Tempest Rust, and Sweeping Wind. 
Crusader gets Val Ag Agus of Valor, which is this of Heaven and Heaven's Fairy. And then Necromancer gets Masquerade of the Burning Carnival, which is Sakurat Sim Simulacrums, which is like clones of yourself. Uh, and Bone Spear, and Bone Spear did just get buffed. Remember, they buffed it, they nerfed it, now they rebuffed it. So, this one's a good build too for the season. Uh, they buffed UE and they changed for Demon Hunter. And they, uh, what was it? Uh, Natalia is a spike type, like I said, instead of Rain of Vengeance. They just up Frenzy for Barb. I skipped all the ones, but those are notes. So it's basically Demon Hunter, Barb, Necro. Hydra's is a good build too. There's a lot of good sets this, this season. I'm not really a Witch Doctor, so I don't know how good this is because I don't I don't like Spirit Barrage or the like Soul Seal or something. Some people like it. All right, so that is the season here. So now you do is create a char season character, uh, which I already did. So you just hit uh, Switch Hero, whatever it pops up. You can hit Create. I delete a lot of them. Just hit create. You can rebirth any of them if you want. I don't do that, but you see here there's a time. So, so you see if you want to see how long it actually play time, it's going to take the old time of whatever someone has. For example, if I'm on hardcore, if I rebirth this one, it's going to add this time plus my new time. So just for easier, I'm just create a new one. You see I can delete this one. doesn't matter to me. I can hit create. And then I'll just want to pick Demon Hunter season you can play hardcore if you want but remember hardcore is permanent death so when you die when you're defeated you're permanently defeated and that's of course you have uh, a wizard i think firebird still has it where you have a it's not a cheap death it's a rebirth but it has a long cooldown so it's more hardcore friendly all right so we're going to pick demon hunter but we're going to end this and we'll come back and we'll see what we are for the rights guys want to show you what the season was with the conquest and what sets you get um not going over like how to do those uh, but just telling you what they are because some people are saying technically demon hunter should have ue this season and something else should have some a different set than what they're posting <clears throat> i've always noticed in ptr whatever they show you and what's new is what's going to be for that season the only thing they don't they don't show you i can't show you in here i don't think I don't know if Shift J will work. Uh, da da da. We hit back. On season journey. Oh uh, yeah, oh, it made it obvious. Like, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, like the end reward for hitting Guardian, what the pet, if you get a pet, or a banner, or, or wings, or, they don't show you that. They're showing us, we'll see when we get in, I think for chapter four, it's the, Fal not Falcon, Monarch, but like the Monarch wings, like the, they're like blackish, um, we'll see, it's not Falcon, and it's not the other one people think they are, um, which we'll see when we get into the game. I just want to show you what this was. Alright, this has been The Rotten Raven. Thanks for watching.